Hey there, I'm Eric. I'd like to show you my solar trailer and how I plan on charging on my next tour, which will be from here, the Phoenix Valley, all the way up to Las Vegas. Um, I have several ways of keeping this thing powered. First of all, I have a lot of batteries underneath there. I got a 55 amp hours at 48 volts to keep it. And that on top is a 200 watt solar panel. It, with it shut right now, it's only pulling uh, let's see, it looks like about 105 watts right there. <laughs> All right, and there's my solar optimizer. Pretty simple. It's just a stick I picked off the side of the road. I don't actually plan on carrying anything like that with me. I'll just uh, find sticks or whatever along the way. But pretty much the idea is just to jam the lid open here. A little off angle from the sun here. Uh, I could turn it to be a little bit better. The reason I don't ride like that is I, I like to go over 15 miles per hour and that would definitely be nowhere near aerodynamic. Uh, side wind would be pretty hellish on that. So pretty much leave it latched down. And then the next thing I do is I got these two 100 watts foldable solar panels in here and get those out real quick. And these just basically unfold and yeah each one of them is a 100 watt solar panel i used to bother to hang them up in the air but now i i pretty much just take them and throw them down on the ground it saves a lot of time i mean i've i've got them up in the air and got them on and then like 15 minutes later realized that there was a tree branch coming and blocked off the whole thing so there's one and then there's the other. Uh, definitely don't want it overlapping. They're like that. And hook them up. I got a bunch of wires basically to do that. So on this one, we'll leave positive will be positive here. And then this negative wire here, to get it to go into parallel, we're going to go from negative all the way over to this positive here. So now they're hooked up in a, basically a loop. And then this uh, negative here becomes the whole negative for the series connection. It's uh, basically I like to boost the voltage up as high as you can get it. The higher the voltage you can get, the less loss you're gonna have. So then these wires go and they tuck up under here. And each one of those wires I got, I got it coming in and they're gonna hook up into this little controller here. So pretty basic, black to black, red to red on this situation. And I can see it's going right now, starting up and there goes. So right now, both those panels sitting flat, they're pulling, it says, and of course this is gonna be strobing on the camera, but it says uh, 51 volts. 51.5 and it's almost pulling two amps. So I'm almost pulling hundred watts straight off with those, with them flat, including with this system, which is pulling, that looks like 140, 40 watts there. So I'm pulling about 240 watts off a 400 watt system, which that's usually pretty typical whenever you're doing any, anything solar. The top panel, it has another controller in it. It doesn't use that same silver controller there that um, it's inside of a bag there. It's a pricier one, it's called a Jenison, pretty much kind of the top of the line. The Jenison weighs about a quarter of a pound where that weighs a whole pound. The other way I plan on keeping this beast going, I'm gonna be using a lot of uh, city roads and highways. So there will be stores and stuff like that along the way is I have the 110 volt charger on it. This is a 10 amp charger at uh, 48 volts. So it's pulling about 500 watts. You can charge up pretty much the whole system from zero in uh, four to five hours. All right, that's pretty much my whole system. Thanks for checking out my solar trailer. If you want to build something like this, uh, first of all, it's a little bit pricey. It's going to probably cost you, uh, I don't know, probably roughly around $1,000 or so um, to be able to build that. The Burley trailer is like cream of the crop. They think they're like apples, so they got their price way through the roof. 
but yeah, you can find out how to build the solar trailer on my channel. Um, I got all the videos on basically how to charge your e-bike using solar. Uh, in case you got a, like a pre-build, it is, it isn't as straightforward as you think. Um, for those, you're probably not going to be able to charge and discharge as you go. With my setup, I'm able to charge, discharge. It's it's always hooked up. Basically, if I'm not pulling the power from the solar, it'll go to the battery. Just wanted to show that with it to everybody. I had a lot of questions about how I'm able to do ranges like I am. So that's how I take a lot of power with me. <laughs> And yes, I know I should clean it. It's, I live in the middle of the desert. The dirt sticks to it. I'll clean it before the tour starts. Take it easy. Ah! Hey there, I'm Eric Tennant. But as most of you, at least like 20, 30% of you already know that. So anyways. <clears throat>